All right, got to go. Going to start my stream now. Okay, don't be that guy. There was a post recently on Reddit which opened up this can of worms, and it's a legitimate can of worms. The post was from a guy called Zeus Wood. It was a week or two ago, and it was, gotta go, going to start my stream now. And the guy was basically talking about people that put really negative things in chat that are basically subliminal or less obvious self-promotion. Just not good, really. Some of it could be, like, genuine stuff, but also it's pretty obvious that some of this behavior is, like, self-promotion. Some of it's really blatant as well. In his post, he says, I've come across some streamers that come into my channel in the middle of my stream and say, hey, hello. Five minutes later, they hit me with, gotta go. Gonna start my stream now. Do not do this in another streamer's live channel. In fact, just try to avoid mentioning your own Twitch channel in someone else's Twitch chat unless you're asked by the streamer. To me, it feels like a slick, slick attempt at self-promotion, especially if it happens often. Just say, gotta go have a good stream. So that was the post. It kind of blew up a little bit on the Twitch Reddit page. And considering that most of the people that are on the Reddit Twitch page are actually streamers themselves, this basically implies that most streamers agree with the sentiment that you should not blatantly self-promote like that. I get it. When you first start out streaming, it's very, very difficult. And I also get it that sometimes people make mistakes. It's very easy to just say what you're actually doing. If you are literally just leaving to go and stream, it's very hard to think about not doing that. But then then again, also, as a streamer yourself, you should surely know about moderating your own chat. And you wouldn't want people self-promoting in your chat. So where am I going with this? For this video, I wanted to add some value to this post and also to the community, to anyone that's one of my subscribers or might stumble across this video by adding streaming etiquette tips. And this is from someone I've only streamed for about a year now, but I've streamed a lot. I've done more than a thousand hours worth of streaming. I've also spent a lot of time in other people's chat. I discuss things with a lot of other streamers. I feel credible enough now to talk about what is good Twitch. YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, etiquette. And this is useful if you're just a viewer of someone's stream, but it's especially useful if you are a streamer yourself. So I'm Machine Dana. I help people level up their content. If you do find this useful, like, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to come and hang out on my stream, as long as you don't do these things that I show you in chat, come and check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana. Okay, the first one is to not announce. You don't want to be announcing that you're going live, okay? Clearly, if you're telling other people in someone else's chat that that can be construed as being self-promotion, it's very easy to just not do that. You can just say, right, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Easy, right? It's, it's not difficult. Sometimes some streamers won't mind it and you'll probably get to know which streamers do and don't mind that. But you're safest to assume that people do not like any form of obvious or not so obvious self-promotion. It's always best to not talk about how much you're streaming or that you're going to stream unless you're asked about it. Tip two, other streamer announcers as well. It's also not good to announce when other streamers are going live. If there's shared communities in, let's say, Twitch or YouTube gaming or whatever, parts of that community that are in that chat there could then go to the other person's live account. And it's just not good to do that. It can also make the streamer feel a little bit negative as well. And obviously they need to be on their A game when they're streaming to potentially hundreds or thousands of people. If someone else is going live, there's no harm in you going to check them out. Just do it. Just leave quietly. That's not a problem. Don't be a douchebag. Tip number three, talking about stream feedback. Feedback's always a good thing, and anyone that can't handle feedback is probably not in the right mindset. Within streaming content creation, you should always be striving to improve your content, whether that's live or recorded content. So it's necessary for you to seek feedback and take on board feedback, and of course, implement things that take on board that feedback. However, sometimes it's not useful to get certain types of feedback at certain times. I think as a general rule of thumb, if it's something that's urgent and needs actioning there and then, particularly if it's on a stream, you should talk about it and mention it. For example, if you can't hear the person on their stream. If it's something that can wait or something that's more global, that's a bigger change or a bigger issue, most streamers will not be offended if you DM them or send them a message on Discord just to say, hey, I've got a suggestion for you. And in fact, most Discords do have a suggestions channel or a suggestion thread where you can actually voice these more publicly so that's obviously a good thing so yeah if it's urgent pop it in chat if it's not urgent just dm it separately brilliant. Number four, links. Not all streamers allow links and some streamers auto mod the links out. It's normally best to just ask first before you pop a link in there, particularly if that content relates to like you specifically, or if it's like a self-promotion or could be viewed as self-promotion. If it's just memes and content, well, you also want to check that the streamer actually wants to have that content on their stream there and then. So just ask. It only takes a second to ask. Number five is my favorite one, respecting mods in 
streams. Mods in streams don't have an easiest job, and obviously the vast majority of these are not paid. They're volunteers. They're just there hanging out in the community and helping out the streamer. Oftentimes, the mods are just kind of doing things based on the instructions and the feel that they've got over time based on the streamer themselves. And they don't always get it right, and that's also fine. But if a mod makes a decision and uses and exercises their judgment to do something, often the streamer is going to agree with them because there's a very good chance that the streamer and the mod are getting along very well, hence the reason for them being entrusted with the mod status. But also, arguing against that does not really serve any benefit, particularly if you're a chatter. You don't want to be seen as a viewer that's just causing aggro and problems and negativity in chat. If a mod times you out or bans you or whatever, then you just have to respect that decision in the short term. If it's a ban, you can normally request an unban. If it's a timeout, just have to respect the timeout and move on from it. It's not a big deal. These things happen. There's normally a good reason for it. In 99.9% .9 of cases, mods make good decisions. So just respect what they do. Six, sensitive topics. This one for me, I don't really care too much about sensitive topics. I like to talk very openly um, and candidly on my stream about all manner of different very sensitive topics. I'm okay with that, but many people are not. And you can also make some streamers feel really uncomfortable just by mentioning sensitive or taboo topics. Normally, it's best to ask first if you want to try and get into those topics, or if clearly it's against the rules, just don't even bother with it. Sensitive topics are a weird one because oftentimes they need to be talked about because it's interesting discussions and often quite important discussions to be had when it's a sensitive topic, but also it can completely change the mood of someone's stream or chat if certain topics are brought up, particularly if they're very divisive topics. You don't want the chat like piling into each other with their opinions. So normally it's best to just ask. Dead easy. Seven, game spoilers. It goes without saying, but if someone's playing a game that they've not played through before, it's best to just assume that spoilers are not allowed. It's just good etiquette whether you're a stream or you're watching a film or if you're with someone playing a game whatever it is to just not give spoilers okay let the person the streamer and the chat in some cases experience it for the first time and enjoy the content for what it is just don't give spoilers okay and that goes for whether you're talking about movies or anything else in chat too that's really important that can really ruin some of the content and discussions and also the mood in the chat as well number eight i'm really hot on this always try to credit people for their work for their ideas game modes maps anything at all where you can credit you should credit people it's really not nice for someone to come up with some form of original content and you should just steal the idea and treat it as your own that's just not good that's actually disingenuous it says a lot about you as a person not even as a streamer if you're taking people's ideas implementing them without even a form of credit to the person that you got the idea from listen people borrow ideas implement ideas put spins on ideas it happens all the time it's a part and parcel for territory and there's no problem with doing that the problem comes when you just don't credit people and you try and disingenuous treat something as though it's your idea when clearly it's not. It's not hard to credit people and often people appreciate you for crediting them. They respect you more for crediting someone and it shows your own integrity. It says a lot about your own integrity in my opinion. Number nine, no obnoxious spamming. That one kind of goes without saying. If you're spamming in chat, you're probably going to come across as a bit of an idiot. Just avoid spamming. It's as simple as that. Okay, once or twice, sometimes it's okay. Or if you're making a point about some sort of joke or meme, sometimes in some situations it makes sense to do it. But in the majority of times, if you're spamming, you're an idiot and you shouldn't be doing that. Please don't do it. You're not coming across as well and a good person when you're spamming, okay? It's as simple as that. Number 10, this is probably one that you weren't expecting, but if you're gonna raid someone, make sure that you're actually raiding with people. Don't raid with one person. Don't raid on your own and certainly do not raid someone if you've not even been streaming. I've seen this being done quite a lot on my stream. Obviously, there's the alert box that can pop up and show the person's name and the raid in some cases. It's just not good to get that sort of recognition from a alert box and sometimes that will interrupt the stream and stuff like that and the streamer will acknowledge it if there's only one person in the chat or if that person is you or if you've not even been streaming. This is especially bad if you've not been streaming. There's only one way that that can be viewed and that is that you're a douchebag trying to get attention. Don't raid unless you're raiding with people and unless you've been streaming yourself. Obviously you've got the option to host people if you want to show appreciation to the streamer and support them. Number 11, asking to be raided. Okay, this one really does my head in. When people say, oh can you you raid me, it makes me want to not raid them. And I think that's the natural reaction with that. If you're asking to be raided, there's a good chance that you're going to come across as uh, having a really bad judgment, having really bad etiquette, and you're more than likely not going to get raided. Maybe, okay, once in every 20 or once in every 50 or something like that, you might actually get a raid from it. But more than likely, the stream is doing it out of pity or 
they're just being kind-hearted or you're basically making them a pushover and it's just not good to do that and put them on the spot like that don't ask for raids okay most streamers do support each other and that's a good thing if you hang around with people if you chat with them if you get into their community and chill and chat and just be a good person with good etiquette there's a pretty good chance you'll get raided anyway okay number 12 have patience with the streamer when he's not responding to your chat sometimes when you're dealing with games and music and microphones and audio and a million and one different things as a streamer it's not always easy to keep in touch with or on top of chat and sometimes chat messages can be missed i am so bad at this okay i'll link a video in the description below about how you can get better at chat but even with those tips i'm still terrible at chat i still miss things all the time it happens but it's a part and parcel of the territory and you shouldn't as a viewer or as a streamer be getting angry at another streamer when that does happen particularly when the chat is really really busy or perhaps if the game format is one that requires a lot of focus just be patient you can always ask the question again and if you ask it three or four times it's not been answered you're safe to assume that maybe the streamer simply does not want to answer that question which is also fine as well it's not your territory by the way it's the streamer's territory if he doesn't want to answer certain question then that's just tough luck on you ask a different question or leave the stream and number 13 this is the last one here always treat people with respect if you're respectful towards other viewers and the streamer at a base level you're going to be on the right side of the argument you're going to be coming across as a good solid person with good stream etiquette and it's going to take you far hopefully you can see here that it's really not a good thing to do that in particular but also some of these other things that i've talked about in chat so there you have it. I think there's 13 tips in the end. But yeah, if you found that useful, hit the like. Feel free to subscribe and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Oh my God, it's so nearly f out so hard then. Jesus. I can't believe how much I nearly f that up. How did you almost die? I know I had the height and everything. <laughs> No!